Hi folks, nice from HCC1 root.com for this week's ROM of the week for HCC1. Um, this is only available for uh, GSM International, at and T-Mobile. Sorry, Verizon and Sprint users. There's an older version of this ROM, but um, anyway, let's go on to the story. This is the AICP ROM Android Icicle project. Um, it's sort of like AOKP with a couple extra stuff added, which I really like. Um, it's got the Omni switch if you want to. You got your favorites. Um, it is Android 4.4.2 and it is blazing fast and I really, really like it. Um, it has a ton of features. For those of you uh, who want full AOSP ROM along with a full set of customization features, um, this is the definitely going to be the ROM for you. Uh, let me go ahead and show you. Um, so Omni Switch, you can go ahead and set it there. If you go to settings, you'll be able to find um, the full AOKP ROM control. This is, I believe this is from the latest nightly. So you got the general, um, you go ahead and swipe to the left, lock screen, uh, status bar, uh, toggles. I mean, I'm not going to go over all of it because I have a full tutorial guide on it. If you're a noob, um, definitely check out the video. I'll have a link to it on my site. A uh, power menu, you got screen recording, all this good stuff with AOKP ROM control. That's all AOKP. Now, what is extra? What is cool about this ROM? Uh, AICP extras. If you go here, you got the Halo uh, floating notifications. If you need it, uh, Omni switch, you can go ahead and uh, enable use for recents there display and animations a um, bunch of stuff you can do here uh, if you want to change your animations go there uh, status bar notifications um, quick pull down smart pull down sorry uh, and a bunch of stuff there you can do um, so a ton of stuff slider shortcuts you can set it here a uh, one two three four uh, four for right now I believe there's a menu you can enable it for eight also uh, active notifications um, this is probably uh, pr pr pretty much the active display. Um, this is something extra I really like. Um, you can go ahead and set a different color for the your tiles. Um, I kind of find that neat. Um, you can go ahead and change the colors. Um, gesture anywhere. Connection manager. Um, if you're on uh, like a LTE and you want to save sometimes battery life or you, you don't want to be on 4G all the time, um, you can use this to kind of um, throttle your connection whenever you need to. Um, also, kernel tweaker here. Um, this will allow you to tweak your kernel. Um, there is a custom kernel you can actually install. If you check out the XDA thread, um, there is one. You can go ahead and check that out. Uh, let me go ahead and go back here. Um, you will be able to go to CPU parameters here and change the max frequency if you want. Um, let's go ahead and change it. Uh, it's actually at the max 1.998 gigahertz, uh, which should be fine, but you can go ahead and uh, if you get a custom kernel, you'll be able to overclock. LCD density, you can go ahead. Um, I actually, this one actually comes with the density that I didn't really like, which comes with 320. Um, you can go ahead and change it to 480, which is normal for this phone, reboot, and you'll see um, this style here. So that's pretty easy to do. A wake lock blocker, um, also dark AICP. Um, overall, very nice ROM, super duper fast, uh, very good battery uh, performance. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM. If you're looking for a good AOSP ROM uh, with full feature fill, definitely check out AICP. I'm looking very, very nice. Um, kudos to the X80 developer, N3O Court 3X. Anyway, um, check it out for this week's ROM review, and do let me know what you think. And we're gonna have to skip Sprint and uh, Verizon this week, uh, but for hopefully next week, uh, we have something for you also. Um, and thanks you guys for watching this video. As always, um, don't forget to stay hot on Android. Yeah.